So whenever I post screenshots of the various bridges I've been building for my rail network in Satisfactory, I tend to get asked how I build the vertical concrete arches that I use all over the place. So I thought I'd make a quick tutorial on how I do this. This can be used for all sorts of size arches. It will always give you a nice smooth arch as you go around. Um, I'm using a flight mod just to make this a little bit easier at the moment. So these arches are relatively small and repeated all the way across the desert here. This is based on the Aus Valley Viaduct in West Sussex. But as I said, this can be used for much bigger arches as well. So I've got a much larger arch over here for this bridge. Um, and then you can use it for all sorts of designs, such as this one, which is based on the Pont du Gard, or for another Pont du Gard design that's massively oversized, we could do something like this. So how to do this? We start with a beam connector. So let's go down to this uh, foundation that we've got down here, place a beam connector down, and then we want a beam from it in default mode at the max length of the beam. The max length is important because this will help to make sure that the stone pillars overlap smoothly, as you'll see. So we place that down and then we place a stone pillar on the end. Then we repeat this in diagonal mode. Place it to 40 meters and then do a slight increment to the side. If you want a particularly big arch, you'd increment very slightly and then you can zoop up and make it as large as you want. I'm just going to stick to an arch at this point, so I'm going to go just slightly past the original pillar, place that down, and then place another concrete pillar on the end. So this overlaps quite nicely. There's a little gap here, but you can just basically adjust your angle as you do this each time to get the sort of overlap that you're after. If I do it again here, 40 meters, place another pillar, and repeat. And that way you'll get a nice overlap. If you don't do it at 40 meters, then the beams end up being unusual lengths. So if we were to try going up to 28 meters and then go into diagonal mode and go an increment across, we end up at 28.018 and so on. And you'll end up with slightly, it just won't work in the long run. So it's best to go to 40 meters. If you need a smaller arch, you can just zoop downwards instead. So you do the 40 meter point and then zoop down from there to create the type of arch that you're after. And that's it. Very simple process, but extremely repetitive. Um, so you might want to build one arch and then use the interactive map on Satisfactory Calculator, for instance, to just copy it across to wherever you need.